I'm Patrick Zirkel, writer at Fantini Research. I'm here with Dean Ehrlich, Executive Vice President and Games Business Leader at Every. Take it away. Well, thank you very much, Patrick. Appreciate it. And uh, uh, thank you for uh, coming to our booth and allowing us to uh, display some of our great products that we have. You know, it's, uh, it's always uh, a proud moment for our company to, uh, to have the ability to show all of the different uh, cabinets that we have, some new cabinets like the Dynasty View, and uh, many of our existing cabinets that uh, we continue to uh, develop exciting new themes for. So I greatly appreciate it and uh, look forward to seeing the, uh, how they resonate with respect to our uh, casino customers and our players as well. Now we're here with Director of Gaming Operations, Courtney Bell, to talk about some games. Thanks. Thanks, Patrick. This is the new Dynasty View. It's our standard video cabinet, new for 2023. It'll be launching in the first half of the year with three unique game families uh, in six total games, as well as a multi-game high denom. <laughs> We're really excited to introduce View as a market disruptor in the standard video cab or portfolio. Uh, it's got the sight line of a dual screen, uh, but it's got the seamless gameplay of a portrait. And we're really, really excited because it's the first in our family of Dynasty View, or Dynasty family. This is Wild Wheel. Uh, it's a take on our very uh, um, high performing uh, feature, the Wicked Wheel feature. So there is a, a new spin, so I'll show you here. So when you enter into the pick bonus, a wheel with all progressives will be displayed. And then your picks are either moving your wheel position, eliminating lower progressive tiers, or awarding your progressive win. This is exciting because players know they're guaranteed a progressive, and as they eliminate the lower progressives, the anticipation for big wins expands. So as you can see, the mini was just removed. And the little otter is moving the position. Now the miner is removed. And when you select the gold pearl, you reveal the prize that you're going to win. This is Super Fiesta on our award-winning large top box format in the premium uh, video space. This is Empire Arena. Super Fiesta is our latest in the lineup following the really popular Shark Week and The Vault. Um, I'm going to show you a couple bonuses. Uh, we do a really popular community style bonus, uh, and in this particular one, it's Fiesta Mode. So the entire bank will enter Fiesta Mode at the same time. Uh, they can sing along their play with the licensed music, La Bamba. And you're chasing a. Oh, I just got a quick pick. <laughs> During the two minute countdown, you are looking for the pinata on reel five, just like that. And you'll get to uh, beat up the pinata for big wins in the uh, shape of candy. We love character driven games that really make the player feel like they're involved in the fun. And the pinata in Super Fiesta is no different. Super Fiesta Mode also has a really great take on a popular hold and spin feature. Uh, when you enter the respin feature, the while positions lock into place and you enter a free spin. The exciting part is if you land a wild on an already locked position, it turns into a multiplier and you're, uh, award, you're re up to three more spins. This allows for huge wins for the player during uh, the free spin. This is Little Shop of Horrors Director's Cut on our premium uh, video cabinet, the DCX. Really excited about this game, bringing it to the DCX for the first time. Really super popular game on the E43, uh, high performing across the United States. And now we get to bring it to the large format 4K monitors, as well as adding a really fun feature that was successful in the Karate Kid. So same game that players know and love, except they have the Rampage bonus. So when the Rampage reels are triggered, 
uh, the larger than life character from Little Shop of Horrors comes on the screen and kicks the card into a multi-card event where stacked wilds travel from one card to the other, awarding large wins. This has licensed music from the really popular uh, musical. Uh, it's really fun to sing along and play, and it has all the beloved characters you know from the movie. We're here with Executive Vice President and FinTech Business Leader, Darren Simmons, to talk about a couple of Every's FinTech solutions. Thank you very much. It's, uh, it's great to be back at G2E 2022. Um, we just announced earlier this week an acquisition that we made, Venutize, uh, leading mobile payments platform provider for the entertainment, uh, sports, and uh, venue industry. Uh, what we believe is that Venutize is going to be a great complement to us with our existing products as it's going to extend our total addressable market. We think about payments, we think about loyalty, and we feel like it's really a great vehicle for us to expand our market, not only with our existing customers, but outside with great relationships that they have, like Major League Baseball, professional golf, and sports venues and sports teams all around the nation. So super excited about them to be part of the Every family and really looking forward to them helping Every grow into the future. Also at G2 this year, we're actually showing the eCash kiosk. So earlier this year, Every made an e uh, acquisition of eCash out of Australia. eCash is well known for a small footprint kiosk that we believe is a great opportunity for us to bring into the route markets and the charitable gaming markets here in the United States. Great functionality, great technology that we feel like is going to be a great opportunity for Every to grow into our uh, space further into gaming into the United States.